how to use a square properly. This is an engineer square. Uh, an engineer square or square allows us to see if our material is square at 90 degrees. Checking if it's not 90 degrees, which is very important. We're always trying to work at straight lines when we're processing materials. And it allows us to mark out lines perpendicular to straight edges. So if I wanted to transfer an edge straight here, like this one here parallel to there, I can use my square, place it along at the edge, move it across, and then mark out my piece. It's very important that when we're utilizing the square, that uh, this stock here, that the material slits, sits on that stock and doesn't move. We're able to slide it across and it doesn't move. It's not loose because if that's loose, it's going to be at a, a different angle. So that has to be firmly placed against that. Sometimes it's useful if you wanted to bring it over a bench to um, get the material over the bench to run your scribe along it. So if we scribe this piece here, we can run that to the side. That, I can go from my scribe placing my hand at the back of the stock, pushing it against this material, holding the material with my other fingers there, holding the scribe like a pencil, and running my scribe across two or three times to get an efficient line marked. Also, you can use the other point of the scribe if you like. I can run this along like this, and I can scribe it like that. Another neat little trick you can use with a square and a steel rule is you can bring the steel rule because the steel rule starts from zero and I can place it along there if I go to 30 millimeters. Now I've marked out 30 millimeters and I can scribe it. Two and three. So that's using an engineer's square on acrylic material. When we're dealing with wood, we tend to use our tri-square. Very similar makeup than an engineer square. We have a stock and we have a blade, and that is at true 90 degrees. So we can check our material, that it's square or 90 degrees perpendicular, and we can use it for marking out. So in this case, I'll be using a pencil, and I can make sure that the material is up against the stock, and I'm sliding along it. Push my thumb at the back of the stock, my fingers out here, I can slide along, and I can mark my lines like so. And these lines will be at 90 degrees to this surface here. That's how I mark out straight lines. Again, with this, you can utilize your steel rule, and I can place my steel rule at the edge of the material, and move along, let's say, to 30 millimeters and mark my line. And my line will be exactly 30 millimeters from the end. And that's our tri square. Um, I want to show you the bevel in action. The bevel is like a tri square or an engineer's square, and we utilize it, we can set angles on it. So I can set um, a certain angle like that and again placing the material on the edge of your stock and sliding it along and I can transfer um, different shaped angles. I can set this with a protractor if I liked. I can move along and have all my lines parallel with each other. That's using the bevel.